everybody right here. I'm here at the lobby of my apartment, as you can see, Southwark House, and it's kind of late and I thought I'd take a little quick walk outside because it's really hot inside and want to get some fresh air. And today I just have one simple question to ask you. Do you think that being rejected make you stronger or does it break you? And the reason I ask is because uh, I was interviewed by ABC News recently with my friends Ruth Van Rieken and Daniela Tudor and we all shared some very deeply personal stories. I think that what most people don't, re don't know is that the reason why TC Kid exists today is because several years ago I had a surprise from the doctor. She said I had a terminal disease and there was no cure or explanation. And so for several years I couldn't write, shower myself, or even hold a glass of water without feeling pain. But I think most of all I was isolated and I, had, I really had no purpose in life. But one day my life completely turned around when I discovered that the emotional pain of being uprooted repeatedly actually caused this physical illness. And I was completely baffled. And That's here are Alice in here are my I'm friends that are here. Hi, Alice. Hey. <laughs> and so I was completely baffled um, that the emotional pain actually caused this physical illness. And one day I was completely cured. I just couldn't believe it. it was just a miracle. Then I made a promise to myself and to God that I'll devote my life to help relieve people from this kind of pain. And so I realized that my friends, like Ruth and Daniela, they also struggled with depression. And even Barack Obama, who struggled with depression himself when he was young, and push questions of identity out of his mind with drugs and alcohol, I noticed that it actually tends to make people become stronger and it forces them to really analyze who they really are. So is it a curse or a blessing? I'd love to hear your thoughts and speak to you soon. Bye.